Okay. I think... Whoa. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, Rizy Lucas, the Mage of Light, and today we're going to be playing another... We're going to be playing once again Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, we got uh, books flying everywhere. <laughs> so, um, last time, um, we were doing some classes. I believe we were doing potions, and I still have to do some assignments um, regarding the potions. But, um, then I gotta learn another spell. But, um, first thing we're doing today is we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. We're going, we are in broom class, broom riding class, as the title of the video, of the stream suggests. So, we're gonna be continuing on our little adventure with our good friend here, Percival Vertain. And let's get on into it. Uh, I think, uh, I think everything's working. Yep, my audio seems to be good. Yeah, here we are. Here we are in broom class. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Oh, wait, there's a flu, flu powder here. Flu flame. All right, begin the class. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind I probably all should have wore the hat. Over on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is first and foremost a means of transportation. Indeed. Yes, I fear some of you have forgotten. <laughs> Diving, rolling, and loop-de-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> yeah. uh, nice. With their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. I, I read a I read a I read a manga called Mashal Magic and Muscles and uh, Mash doesn't have any magic, so what he did, he basically stomped on the ground so hard that the broom leaped up into the air. It was pretty funny. Oh. Oh. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school this is property. Brilliant. I want them returned ah. in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Nice. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Oh, okay. So we're gonna follow the teacher then. Are we? We're this next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a fly! Ha! Good. I've got this. Ah, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make oh. hello. Wow. 
Wow. What a way to start the game tonight. Huh. That wasn't too bad. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more true. Oh no, you're not gonna do but this I'm to me, Everett, are you? <laughs> we met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. Oh yeah. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? I guess so. Um oh, Deathmaster22, welcome to the stream. Uh won't it get it will we get into trouble? Kagawa <laughs> seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. <laughs> Follow me. All right. Hope you don't get it me the into trouble. is about to begin. Oh. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Oh. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> oh, hello. Everett, you're really going to get me into trouble, aren't you? <laughs> Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just... How is everything? Uh, everything's great. Just, um, trying to get the hang of flying again. <laughs> Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape uh, the tricky situation. Okay, how do I do that? Oh, speed burst. Oh, okay. Oh, now that's more like it. There we go. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at this. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kragawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Oh, oh. Don't hurry back. Need to dismount. Dismount here. All right. And where have you? I gotta get back into the game. Yeah. Me too. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice. <laughs> I remember this. I remember this part in some. Someone made a video of this part, and they, and they had like a a knight's armor on, and they, and they says like, and she's asking, where do you, where did you think you've been? And they answered, Jerusalem, <laughs> like he was a crusader. It was but pretty funny. Professor, enough. Class is mm. finished for the day. Mm. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. <laughs> All right. We passed our broom class. Sorry about that <laughs> business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. <laughs> yeah. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. <laughs> you seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll hmm. keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. I guess we have to talk to her then. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Ravenclaw should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. <laughs> now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. 
All right. I forgot about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. Oh. I know a discreet place near there. Sebastian wants to teach us some spells, huh? Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery. I thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Uh, what was that? Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor. Okay, um, was somebody apparating just before my eyes? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I always like those suits of armor. Occasionally, they, they would one of them not beats the other one up <laughs> on the floor. It's pretty funny. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at our journal here. Oh my gosh, we got a lot of stuff to do tonight. <laughs> All right, so got the Shadow of the Undercroft. We got to meet Sebastian. Uh, oh, we got to do Professor Weasley first. We got to go meet her first. So she's going to help us learn. Oh, it's the Room of Requirement. Okay, yeah, we got definitely got to do that soon. Um, Then I got to do Professor Sharp's assignment. I think those two are the most critical thing we're going to be doing right now. Um, yeah. But I need to get some more potions so I can... So I can use the... Fo so I can use the... Uh, use the potions during battle. I have to do that before I learn Depulso. And then I gotta meet with Professor Weasley. I think we're gonna meet with Professor Weasley first. All right. Ever get tired of running around in the halls of Hogwarts? <laughs> Wait, oh, there we go. Oh wait, was there something here? Rebellion. I guess not. I thought there was something there. Do 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 man, <laughs> if if, if Boy, you can you help me? I'll be with you late in a bit, Arthur. <laughs> Everybody knows you're in here. Yeah, if if I attended Hogwarts in real life, I would be getting a lot of exercise going up all the up and down all these stairs. <laughs> no elevators in Hogwarts. I mean, unless there's a magic one around here. <laughs> Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Hmm. I wonder where she is. Aha. Room of requirement. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me in that Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> How polite. Ooh. What a clutter. What is this place? This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. <laughs> Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. Ah. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. 
While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. I ah. thought he might help you use the room once you found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to oh. teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. So that's what the magician did with the rabbit. You practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. All right, let's go then. Oh, that F was, uh, I almost got l screwed up from that F. <laughs> Alright, now I just got to use Evanesco. Oh, there it is. There we go. Blended. Alright. Cast Evanesco on those chairs. There we go. Excellent. Ooh, work. nice. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Moonstone, huh? Yeah, I did. Ca I did t Where take a lot of that. Or... Name is that elf? Oh, is there something here? Is that goodness? Ah, I waited for you for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. Give you okay. an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. All right. Um. Okay. Now that I got this, some of this unlocked. Now I got to. I think I'm gonna sort this for. I'm gonna use this bar as like basically my utility, utility area. And that's gonna be more my combatant bar so all right lumos oh hello can't you keep it down some of us are trying to rest ah there we go ooh i get moonstone by making things disappear what a bargain <laughs> well it's probably the law of the equivalent exchange i mean do they even do alchemy they pre they had to they have to do alchemy in Hogwarts. All right, I think this is a There we go. Ooh. An identified black item. Wait, back. Oops. Why do I keep throwing those? I keep throwing the chomping cabbage. <laughs> Always end up I always have the habit of doing that. I don't know why. Take this to the room of requirement to reveal its qualities. Uh, aren't I in the room of requirement right now? Oh, I probably I probably don't have the necessary stuff unlocked for that yet. Okay. Um. Ooh. Legendary. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely want to unlock all those later. Um. Okay. okay. Let's get back to what we're doing here. Hello, Mr. Chomping Cabbage. <laughs> all right. Well, have a little cup of tea before we continue on. <laughs> ah, there we go. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! <laughs> Somebody says there's an intruder, huh? Who's the intruder? <laughs> okay. Uh... <clears throat> Don't know, don't know why he collapsed in front of my, in my presence. Yeah, that uh, that bu that uh, bush definitely needed to get trimmed. 
It's been in here too long. Oh, wait, no. Wrong spell, buddy. There we go. Ooh. Bit offended the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. <laughs> okay, who keeps sending these notes? Ooh, Chinese lanterns. This is cool. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody, that's what. Ooh. Uh, a harp. Um, I mean, I'd like to play you, but um, I, I more fancy the bagpipe. Sorry. Don't mean to offend you. What was that? Oh. Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Wait, who was saying that? Well, is that the is that the painting that said that? I think it was the painting that said that. Uh <laughs> Golden Snitch isn't gonna help us right now. How do I get deal with this Golden Snitch? So... Forgot how I was supposed to do this. This one I remember, when I first played this, I remember getting stuck at this part. How am I gonna get this dealt with? Um. Akio. Don't think that's going to do me any good right now. Unless I um bring this back in here. I can bring this back in. Apparently not. Okay, I maybe I have to do it from out here? I don't know. How am I supposed to do this? Huh. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Okay, so what am I missing here? I'm missing something. Maybe Le maybe I could do something with Leviosa here. No, I think I need Wingardia Leviosa to do. Leviosa. Okay, no, that's probably not gonna do it. Okay, let me just push this to the wall, and then I can try Leviosa. Ah, there we go. Oh, darn it all. Darn it. Can't go over this? Oh, that's bull. Lumos. Okay, that snitch is obviously not going to help me here. How am I getting over here, this? Oh, come on. Okay, I 
think I'll wait till this thing drops. And then I think I'll try to do it from out here. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Pull it out. Pull it out. Drag it over here. Um, push it over here. Dang it, come on. There we go. Now we can just fit tightly in there. No! Oh, whatever. Oh, come on, I'm so close. All right, what the heck? What the heck, guys? Something's not working. There's got to be some way to do this. Ah. No, uh, no, that's the back way I came. So I have no choice. So I have no choice but to use. Let's keep going ahead. Just in I hope case. that health elf can find us in here. I don't think that's gonna help me anything. Oh, there's the house elf. I guess I got, just got distracted. This probably wasn't anything I needed anyway. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. I guess it... Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Hmm. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered hmm. this room together. I mentioned nice. it to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Ah. We've seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that yeah. explains it then. Hmm. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Nice. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. All right. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. Ooh. The room will do the rest.
<laughs> Better take cover. <laughs> take cover. to seeing what you do with the space. <coughs> nice. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. <laughs> okay, just the just the way that's phrased. Olive patterned robe. Ooh, nice. All right, the olive patterned robe. Oh, disarming. Increased damage with Expelliarmus. Yeah, we're definitely doing that, but I'm not going to... I'm going to keep with the school robes for now. Let's change the appearance of the hat. Um, <laughs> The helmet. We're going to go no hat for now. The collections... All right, I think we got this. All right, I think we're good. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. All right. I just gotta speak with Professor Weasley then. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. All right. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Ooh, a conjuring spell. Excellent. There we go. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. Ah. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Mm. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. <laughs> they can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Mm. Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right, we got the conjuring spell. Alright, so we've got first off our potions. Yeah, we got ourselves a potions. So what are we going to build? Small botanical. Alright, we got the eccentric, the small gothic. 
What are we going to go for here? Maybe the electric. And uh, no. Go back. Okay, I like I like this style. But I wanna see if what's the gothic one look like? Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh no. We're not going with the gothic. What about the botanical? Okay, we're going with uh I don't know. Why does it feel like they're all themed after the different houses? Like the scientific one, scientific one looks like look at like it's for looks like it's for um, Ravenclaw. The botanical one looks like it's for Hufflepuff. The the electric ex exletric looks like it's for Slytherin. And the Gothic looks like it's for uh Huff look like it's for Gryffindor. Ugh. I have to I'll have to use the um I have to use the the scientific one. Okay. All right. Okay, so I don't have to rearrange everything later. I think I'm going to there we Go. Now then. Those are hopping pots. Interesting. Oh, herbology. Yes, I need a herbology desk. Herbology table. Object is locked. Why? Why is it locked? There we go. Well, Her herbology. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. All right. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Um. Can I use transfiguration magic anywhere? Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Okay, okay. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. <laughs> but yeah. the room of requirement <coughs> has its own rules. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I suppose we're going to... Let's uh, speak with her again. Ooh, level 14. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, oh, or you okay. can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. All right. Let's uh, go out and go collect some. But first off, let's... Uh, uh, well, we can make some Wig and Well potion while we're gone. And we can make some Dittany. Alright, while that's working, we can go out and go get find some more Moonstone. Wow, it is quiet out here. How long were we in the room?
Okay. So we're going to go out in the middle of the night and find some moonstone. <laughs> what a perfect time to do that. Oh, wait. That, uh... Oh, yeah, Sebastian. Yeah, that, yeah, that's the mission for Sebastian. I'm gonna wait for that. We're gonna do that later. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Uh, is there way? Oh, hello. Dang it. The doors, gates are closed. Looks like we'll have to go out another way. Well, crap. <laughs> Ow. Well, that was quite some damage. How did you expect me to find Moonstone in the middle of the night? Well, it's Moonstone, so it's probably not that big of a deal. Alright. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to find it? I think there was some... No, wait. I could just teleport near Hogsmeade. I'm pretty sure there was some near Hogsmeade. Yeah, we're just gonna flu powder near Hogsmeade, and we should be good. What a lovely evening. Quite stately in its time. Was there something over here? Ah, uh, it was a shortcut. No moonstone over here. Darn. No moonstone over there. Well, looks like I exhausted all the moonstone over here. That stinks. Rebellion. There's jumping mushrooms. I don't see any. I don't see any moonstone around here. Huh. Maybe there's some down. Okay, that's the puff skeins den. Don't think there's any down there.
Oh, hello. Oh, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Ah, good old Merlin trial up here. What do you have in store for me this time? What was this spell? Expelliarmus. Nope, it wasn't that one. Incendio. No, it wasn't that one. What was it? Lumos. It wasn't Lumos. It's not that. Hmm. Frigo, Bombarda. What spell was it? Hmm. There's some moonstone. I needed that. Ah, there's more over there. Oh. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> now I remember. I remember this one was the hardest one for me to figure out. Yeah, it's the, it is the Lumo spell. Nice. Now we just gotta be on the lookout for some more, uh, some more moonstone. Ah, there's some down here. We should have plenty of moonstone by this point. Should probably go back to the room of requirement. Is there anything in this, uh, in the tent? Uh, apparently not. Ow! Ow! Okay. One stool was easily collapsible when the other one made me stub my toe. Wow. Alright. I think we could get back to Hogwarts. Uh, ooh. Charms classroom. All right, back to Professor Weasley.
I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Great. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. All right. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Interesting. Um. All right, let's see what we got. Um, got pictures. Ooh, nice pictures. Tables, dice tables, seating, rugs, lots of rugs. Oh, wall hangings. Okay. Some cheap mirrors. All right, let's see what we're we gonna do first here. We'll start with a big rug. Change size. Ooh. Here we go. All right, floor decoration. That's cool. Wall decoration. Wait, we need some more floor. Decorations. I think the next thing we do is another... Another light. Put it right there, because it's kind of parallel with the other one. Um... What? Only four or five? Really? All right. Um... I guess the next week go back go back uh let's try a table Try that table again. All right now, we just got to do wall decorations then. Um, Good old painting.
that's weird. Oh, we got one more paint painting to put up. Uh, let's put something over here then. Shall we move on? Okay. Since I collect the Ditney and the potion. We can weld the potion. I've done everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration? The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Ah, here we go again. There we go. Just aim your voice. Conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. All right. I can't, uh, can't do that yet. Change the color of an item, adjust the size of an item. Change the color. Oh, change the color. Oh, I didn't realize you could change the color. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the <coughs> or at that balcony while using the altering spell. Okay. Why is it always scientific? Mechanical, electric, and the gothic wall. Alter the balcony of the floor of the room. Okay, okay. All right. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Um, cool moonlit ambience. I would like the room to 
feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Mm, sounds perfect. There we go. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Yeah. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Oh. Oh, hello. Ooh. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. All right. Okay. Um. Ooh. Yeah, my chat does not look that great. All right. Um. There we go. That's probably a little less intrusive. I sh probably should have changed that earlier. All right, there we go. There we go. That looks better. All right, uh, I think I had leveled up and I need to spend some points, some talents. That's right. Core. <clears throat> yeah, I purchased all the spell, all those spells. Ah, that would be useful. Stealth. Enemy's ability to detect you is reduced. Allows you to sprint while using disillusionment, which is very useful. Room of requirement. A durus potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectiles back to the enemy. That could be useful too. Huh, what are we going to do then? Um, <coughs> okay, I think we're going to do the Accio upgrade. There we go. Lots and lots of stuff. All right. Looks like we can keep going then. I think we're going to head out then. Let me look at my journal and see what we have to do. Ah, Sebastian. Yeah, Sebastian. A 
Are we able to make an Endurance Potion here? Wait, that's wrong place. I need Ashwinder Eggs and Mongrel Fur. Okay. So, did he say I had to make an Endurance Potion? Acquire a Use of Focus Potion and acquire Maxima and Endurance Potion and use them simultaneously. Okay, I think I can do that when I do um, speak with Perry Pippin. I think I'll do that when I go sp speak with Perry Pippin. But I think we're going to go meet Sebastian first. <clears throat> yeah. Ugh. You can help me. I'm a little busy, Arthur. <coughs> All right. <coughs> Let's go wait for Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I find I highly doubt that. This way. All right. I'm sure there's a professor there's who a knew about the place. Passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. Huh. We used to play gobstones here all the time. <coughs> with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, mm. I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and huh. no spell could reverse it. <coughs> his wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is mm -hmm. that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. Oh. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. 
and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. What? It does sound dangerous, though. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. <coughs> Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. That's to be true. Fair, That's true. I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Great. There we go. Confringo. <coughs> I didn't think that was a forbidden You're spell. It. Ready to act. <coughs> All right, um... Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo... Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Wow. <coughs> I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. <laughs> this is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every mm. one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Me time. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely <coughs> what she needs. I mm. shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Oh, I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret undercroft. You can trust me. I like right. ominous. I mean, not ominous. It's, um... Sebastian. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic <coughs> power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does mm. it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. Mm. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend yeah. as much time here as you'd like. And remember, <coughs> keep this place between us. Indeed. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. All right. Confirm. Wow. 
Wow, that thing's still standing. Oh, another Wilgen Whelm potion. <coughs> Ooh, a blue felt cap. Rebellion. Is there anything else around here? Aw, oh, man, my gear slots are full. Darn you, Merlin Trials. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, uh, destroy this. Wait, no, I just got that. There we go, the royal maroon coat. Nice. Do, 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 do. Let's leave the Undercroft. All right. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Mm -hmm. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um. <laughs> Should I tell him the truth? He caught me. Come on, he just caught me. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? just betrayed sebastian what please i was trying to defend him he was clear that this was a secret place and i was to tell no one he's a good friend i don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend thank you very much ominous i just meant i know what you meant sebastian gets himself in enough trouble he doesn't need your help sebastian is going to get an earful about this uh <clears throat> All right, so what are we doing next? Um, should probably do Professor Sharp's assignments next. I think we're going to go to Hogsmeade. Then. To Hogsmeade, then. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. All right. Uh, I guess I'll have to chase after that in a bit. Ah, Professor Garlic wants me to do Wingardium Leviosa. Um, we're gonna go to the potions guy first. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisites. Uh, potions. Where was the potions master? Here we go. <coughs> Do see me after class. Only 
do 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 Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? You need help with the delivery? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. <laughs> Constantly wow. complaining about the quality of my <coughs> stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Ooh. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. Mm -hmm. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Rebellion. All right. Um. Yeah. What can I do for you today? Yeah, I need um. <clears throat> Focus potion recipe. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. All right, so got a focus potion. <clears throat> so nope. Let me go look at the no, no, not that one. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire fat maximum and endurance potion, and use them simultaneously. Okay, I need a Maxima Potion, then. A recipe, then. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Maxima, yeah, we're going to... A wise decision. Thank you. All right. So we got the... Ingre the we got the er recipes. But, uh, let's see if we can get, um... See if we can get to the broom place. <clears throat> uh, the brooms, brooms, brooms. Where can we find the brooms? <clears throat> oh, there it is. Maybe I can um, go to the broom shop and buy a broom. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Oh. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yeah. I've got a few <coughs> weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? All right. We've got a Hogwarts house broom. A moon trimmer. Wind wisp. Ember Dash. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. All right. <clears throat> Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, <coughs> say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. 
But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Oh. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yeah. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the quick <coughs> pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. All right. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, Rebellion. Sure. A dark arts cloak. Nice. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Ah, dang it. I'll have to come back for that. Alright, my gear then. Uh. Alright, now how do I... <clears throat> Alright, I can't fly it. I can't fly while I'm in Hogsby. That's right. Forgot about that. Enter the area that allows flight. Press tab then three to get your broom. <clears throat> All right. Very interesting. Hmm, I didn't realize there was a door. Uh, oh, it's... yeah, B. B is to dismount. Okay. Ah, didn't know there was a side door. <laughs> well, that would have been helpful to know. All right. Ah. I think I need to go back to the room of requirement. Yeah, go back to the room of requirement so I can make some potions if I have what I need to make it. No unidentified gear. I need Ashwinder eggs. There's a Maxima potion and a Focus potion. <clears throat> I can make the Maxima potion. Um, and then use them simultaneously. Huh? Hmm. Alright, let me see the...
who won pickup. <clears throat> okay, so I need some Luxweed stem. Ashwiner eggs and mongrel fur. So that's what I need left. Alright. I think we can find those things out beyond Hogwarts. Time to go flying around then. Hey, looks like we got a spider nest over here. A little jaunt into the Forbidden Forest. A lovely little jaunt. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> let's see. I think we're good. <clears throat> do 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 do. Hmm. Uh, there. Those burglars still about. We did defeat those but those poachers over Rebellion. here. Maybe there's more up ahead. It is always like a polite battle.
Yeah. Oh, we got mongrel fur. That's one ingredient we need. Aww. Sick and tired of this. Sick and tired of my in... My outfit thing being full. That was just money. I was it such a big deal? Rebellion. Alright, well, I don't know if there's anything up here of note. Oops. Where'd the other guy go? Oh. Rebellion. Just what we need. Spider Fang Rebellion. Looks like there's nothing here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, there's something over here. Rebellion. like uh, something happened to the goblins here. Nobody here? Ooh, control. Nice, we got a spell there. Ow. Dang. Hope 
That didn't alert anyone. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. See what's up his meat this time, Marlin. Oh, this is the Wingardia Leviosa one. Okay, I think that's what this one is. Yeah, I think that's what this one is. Um... Oh, time to hide. <laughs> gotcha. I did it. And an ash one in my ass. Good job, Percival. Huh. Yep, we're not going to deal with them right now. Alright, I think we're going to go back to... Yeah, we're deep in the Forbidden Forest now. <laughs> What are we doing over here?
do, 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 do. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're way over there. We overshot. This is not where we need to go. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Okay, we're on the right track. tournament it's a two it's a shame we can't play it Where we stand, I think we're gonna we we should probably meet Professor Fig. <clears throat> How nice to see you, my young friend. Professor Fig is probably more important. So we're going to go with Professor Fig for now, and I think I'm going to wrap up for tonight then, once I do that. But your wife is There's only one page in the book. I could never fold <clears throat> in a corner in a book. It'd make a fuss too if I were her. Ah, there we go. Alright, Professor Fig, I'm coming. <clears throat> Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Where'd the mirror go? Where's that mirror? Revelio. Oh, the mirror's down there, okay. Lumos. Mirror was downstairs then. I thought it was down here. Uh, apparently not. Is it or is it not here? Where'd it go? Revelio. Lumos. Re 
rebellion. Oh, I don't know where to look for it, but... I was hoping to see you. Mm-hmm. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Mm -hmm. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes, which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth <laughs> is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Yeah, we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Made. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hmm. His wife. Hello, Professor Rackham. We placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock, should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? 
You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers, mm. a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. Mm -hmm. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. Yeah. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news, indeed. Mm -hmm. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your <laughs> mentor, the <laughs> least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. All right. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, <clears throat> however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Indeed. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. Nice. All right. Aha. All right. So we got another level point. Um. I definitely need to finish these these assignments next time. Probably have to do those next time. But um. Okay. Let's. Load up our talents here. Confringo. Nice. So I'll definitely do that. way to cool down a heated situation ah. but first i will need you to complete a few tasks once you've done that come and see me okay all right um i think i'm gonna head back to head back to the room of requirement i don't know if i got everything i need for the potions though All right, um... I need Ashwinder's eggs, of course. 
That was the ingredients I was missing. All right. Um, well, thank you guys for, for watching. Uh, thank you, Deathmaster22, and anybody else who was popping in briefly. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be um, streaming... Uh, oh, yeah, Pal World. I'll be streaming Pal World on Twitch tomorrow at the same time as... As I started this stream today, 8 p.m. Central, um, and um, and then Wednesday I'm gonna be ta I'm gonna be taking a day off Wednesday off, and then Thursday is gonna be the special day this week, Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central, I am going to be streaming Hell Divers 2 here on right here on YouTube, so look forward to that. I I am definitely looking forward to Hell Divers 2. That's that's a game I've been wanting to play for at least a week. So, so yeah, I'll get that opportunity to do that then. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Until next time, Rise Lucas signing out.